Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damit. Today we are going to answer this question and perform a demo. Uh, we have a table which contains different type of files that we want to export to a folder. Which transformation do we need to use that? So let's go to SSDT and take a look. Right now, uh, first uh, let me show you a table where we have the files. So I have created this table for the previous demo where we use the import column transformation to load the file into SQL Server table. You can take a look on that video as well. Now the files are loaded in this table and uh, this uh, file name uh, column has a full path for the file name and then uh, we have files uh, itself in the file column. Now what we want to do, we want to export these files to this folder or uh, actually the folder path is already here in the uh, file name column. So these are the two columns we need to read and uh, we can export uh, to the export these files uh, to the folder. Let's go to the SSDT create a new SSIS package and call it a PKG export files. Now, as we are talking about the transformations, we have to have data flow task as the transformations are only available in data flow and we will be using export column transformation. So we have uh, under the other transformations uh, we have a export column transformation. So this is the transformation we will use right now. Uh, we can't really configure it. Uh, let me open it and uh, it need uh, extract column like the file uh, or image uh, where it is saved so that one we have to provide and then uh, the path where we want to write that file so that the two things it need we have both of them coming from our table we have the file name uh, with the folder and uh, we have uh, the file itself so go back and read the information from this table by using oldadb source so double click here make a connection to your SQL Server uh, database. I have already made the connection, so hit OK. Now here you can use the query and paste and go to columns for mapping. And we are getting file name that has full complete path and file is the actual file that we need to import, uh, export. Now click uh, on uh, OLADB source and connect to the export column transformation. Double click and then here provide the file so this is the file that we want to export and here is the path where we want to export so have this one you can have a, a law append force truncation and all those options you can use it uh, in our case we are not using those ones so hit ok now let's go to the folder and see if the files are there right now there are no files in this folder uh, run our SSIS package Now we see four rows are affected. It means it read four rows and wrote to the folder. Let's go to the folder. And right now we can see that capture, uh, carnival and uh, customer and uh, drawing. These all four, four files are saved into the output folder. So go back to your table. And these were the files. They were sitting here. Still the files are in the table. So we are not deleting the files from the table. We are just exporting them. So in case you need to delete, you can at the end of the package, uh, you can uh, always write a query. Whatever the file is exported, just delete that file from the table. So uh, to export the files from the SQL Server table, we will use uh, export column transformation. Thanks very much uh, for watching this video and I will see you in the next video.